Good evening, folks. I should have said good morning. We've just passed midnight. I'll probably get this out about nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Monday's a busy night for me. I got in late and things on. I do apologise. Right, got a quick scores on the doors. And whilst I'm at it, I've got two warnings for you as well. Uh, just to put you on the right side of a couple of people. One of them you'll already know about. You'll know about the person, but I'll give you a bit of info. And the other one is a warning about a bookmaker. But before we go any further, let me just get you the scores on the doors. Right, Andy. Andy picked three today. One came in at six to one. I did say with Andy. He gets a lot placed, but he always advises wins. One came in at six to one. He messaged me to tell me you got at 11s. Some of you may have got better than 6 to 1. And Deleep, I think it was. And Dave, the suit, had another good day today. He picked one horse that he advised folks to lay. He was correct. It never made the first three. Uh, and he had a nice placed horse. I think he had two other horses. The placed horse, I think he advised about 12 or 16 to 1. It drifted to 22s. So it's a nice one if you got on that one. Right. A um, couple of warnings for you. Um... I've had a couple of messages of two different people uh, tonight, so they must be genuine, uh, saying that they, well, I, I was going to say foolishly joined the Watchman's New Club after today's begging uh, begging video. Foolish isn't probably the right word because I don't think they had to part with anything. I think he's changed his tact. He must be really struggling. You used to um, join this, um, you used to get this two-week trial but to get the two-week trial, you had to give him four weeks' money. And what you did was he gave you two, three weeks. And then the four weeks' money, I think it was 50 quid, paid for the next four weeks. So you got six weeks for four. He's now, by the looks of it, changed that. So you don't even give him the 50 quid to start with. You just get the two weeks. And then if you're happy, then you hand over money. Based on the results of today, I don't think you'll be handing over any money anytime soon. These two folk told me, which was good of them, uh, they got the first lots of tips today. They got five. Five, he's got five of the same tips. All favourites, every single one a favourite. Do you know how many of them won? You'd never guess this out of five favourites. I know you're probably saying four, three. You'd be wrong. None. Zilchio, absolutely none of them won. Five favourites, not a winner amongst them. That's how good that man is. Absolute superstar is the watchman. He's struggling, folks, he really is. He's scratching around for anything. Anything he can get his hands on. Do not join him. Don't be stupid. Don't give him any money. Don't even give me email details, phone numbers. Don't give him anything. Right, and then I'll also read this one to you. I got this oh, last Friday or Saturday, and I've meant to read this to you. I do apologise. I should have read it before now. It's from a gent called Shane. Uh, sent me an email. It's worth listening to. I would suggest mainly for you folk over the water there in that there island. Good afternoon from a drizzly Dublin. I came across an advert on my Twitter feed of a new online sports book known as Novibet, N-O-V-I-B-E-T, uh, which were obviously out for new customer acquisitions in the Irish slash European customer market. The new sign-up special offer looked somewhat appealing. You place 10 euros and you receive five 10 euro free bets after placing your first bet of the 10 euros. So put 10 euros down, win or lose, you get five free 10 euro bets. Before registering my Visa card, I successfully uploaded my Know Your Customer documents in the hope of no withdrawal issues. 24 hours passed and the confirm, and the confirm, and the confirm, I can't get it out. And the confirmation email arrived. Saturday morning today, so he sent me this on Saturday. I registered my debit card and I attempted a ten pound, de oh, sorry, ten euro deposit, and it said transaction failed. However, I checked my online banking and Novibet had deducted my payment. So where below is a copy of a very unsatisfying interaction. Best regards, and now a telephone call to my bank, all over a ten euro deposit. What a waste of time. Um, so he's, he's, he's given them 10 euros they said they've not received it but it's come out of his bank and he's now chasing his bank to try to get the 10 euros back obviously not a good move no vivet probably aren't worth looking at you've heard it here first okay i'm not saying you've heard it here first but assuming you've not heard it before you now have right that's it from me i will sign off now I'll get this uploaded and it'll be with you eight, half, eight, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So it's a late scores on the doors, but it won't be a late one when you get it in the morning. It'll be an early one. 
just a day late. Cheers, good evening, good night. Will we see Sandro tomorrow? I bet not. But I might know something that you don't. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Dandelion and burdock. 